Game console repairs. In this video, I'll be showing how to perform reset glitch modification on Xbox 360 Slim console. These are the tools required in order to complete the whole operation. You need Nandex. Nandex must be in version 3 code. If it's not in version 3 code, here are a few other options. You can either use Team Executor USB to Nandex cable, or you can use a combination of CK3i and a CK3i to Nandex uh, cable in order to update your Nandex to V3 code. Uh, we have a few to few YouTube videos in our channel, so uh, if you don't know how to perform or how to update your Nano S2 V3, please watch those videos. Next, uh, in order to perform the soldering, either you can use direct solder method, so uh, you can directly solder your Nandex wire uh, to your motherboard, or you can use uh, Team Executor supplied QSB quick solder boards. In this video, we'll be using uh, direct solder method, so we'll simply uh, cut the Nandex wire and solder directly onto the motherboard. Next we'll be using Executor CR3 light tool to perform the reset glitch. Uh, in order to flash the timing file onto your cool runner CR3 light, uh, uh, these are the few options. You can either use Nandex to cool runner uh, cable or you can use LPT JTAG cable. Game console repairs. These are the tools required in order to open up your Xbox 360 Slim console. These are the actual tools needed, and these are the available toolkits in the market. Uh, you need Torx T10 screw bit or screwdriver, Torx T8 screw bit or screwdriver, small Phillips flathead screwdriver, or you can use micro turn precision screwdriver. Uh, the tool we'll be using from XEM, or it's available in an X tool set as well is this it has a pointy end this helps in opening up uh, the fan grills on both the side of the console so we'll be using this uh, executor unlock kit version 3 uh, opens up uh, the both the fat and slim console so you can purchase that you can either have x x tool or xcm x8 unlock tool set so these help in opening up the a slim console as well so you can grab any of these two um, another very handy thing to have is this access pro toolkit version 4 this is specially designed to open up the gaming consoles and pretty much all the major cell phones so it opens up pretty much all these gaming consoles so it's a one-time you know, purchase and uh, uh, if you do a lot of consoles uh, this is the toolkit uh, you need if this is your first time opening up your console, best is to use a marker and mark down where all the screws go. And you can either use small resealable plastic bags and put them in small plastic bags and mark it down. Or the handy thing is this small utility component storage box. It has these small compartments. Um, uh, where you can put all these screws. Uh, Xbox 360 Slim has a lot of uh, has a lot of s small little screws, so best is to uh, keep them in these apartments. And when you try to put your console back together, it will make the job a lot easier. Just to quickly go through a few of the changes that have been added in the latest version of Coolrunner CR3 Lite. First, these are the contents of the package. Uh, you get a slim and a fat cable set and your actual cool runner device. So let's move this aside and let's just go through CR3 Lite. First, uh, this will help to perform a reset glitch modification on fat consoles, so reset glitch version 2. Also, it also helps to perform reset glitch modification on Corona version 1 16 MB NAND and Corona version 2 4 gig NANDs. Uh, other changes that have been introduced uh, when comparing to Coolrunner A, B, and C revisions. So, they have added four LK solder pads which are located here. So, LK1, LK2, LK3, and LK4 all comes open um, uh, LK4 has three solder pads one two and three now uh, depends on your console type you either need to have it open or you need to show them or bridge the connections 
other changes that have been introduced so there are two switch settings S2 and S4 uh, these have been added uh, so that you can fine-tune the glitch timings on your console uh, you can change the switch settings and uh, see which uh, setting suits your console in order to uh, perform in order to obtain the best glitch timing for your console so we'll be going through all these uh, settings uh, once we are in the testing phase we'll be trying a few different uh, settings in order to tweak the best glitch time for our console These are the soldering items needed for the whole operation. Soldering iron, 30 to 40 watt, preferably a reasonable soldering station is always handy. Solder, the ratio we have here is 60 by 40 and the diameter we use is 0.46 millimeter. Next, very important, uh, we'll be using Wharton Metals a high quality flux. Um, when it comes to soldering cold under, there are a couple of tricky connections. The best is to use the high quality flux so that uh, uh, the soldering process goes smooth uh, these are the few different forms it comes in you can use uh, a gel flux like in a tube like this you can use flux pin or you can use a uh, flux bottle with liquid flux so we highly recommend using Wharton Metals uh, gel flux it's available in our online store this is the flux that we use for all our reflow repair work as well Next, once the soldering uh, is complete, in order to clean up the residue, we'll be using isopropyl alcohol, some cotton balls and Q-tips. Uh, scissors and electrical pair is needed to hold down the wires. 